The Iron Woman. Lucy first saw the Iron Woman as she was climbing out of a dirty marsh. The Iron Woman was enormous, with bright red eyes. She was as big as Lucy's house. Lucy was terrified and quickly ran home. Later, Lucy woke up from a dream and found that the Iron Woman had come to ask for her help. She wanted Lucy to clean the mud from her, and Lucy did this. Then the Iron Woman told Lucy why she had come. She wanted to destroy the factory by the river. She thought that if she killed all the workers in the factory, she would save the planet. The workers were throwing toxic waste into the river. This was killing all the fish in the water. Lucy asked her not to destroy the factory where Lucy's father worked, but the Iron Woman said that she must. She walked off into the night. Lucy remembered reading about the Iron Man in a newspaper and a boy called Hogarth, who was his friend. She wrote to Hogarth and asked him to bring the Iron Man. Perhaps together they would be able to protect the factory and also stop it polluting the river. The next day, Lucy met Hogarth and the Iron Man next to the factory. At that moment, the Iron Woman arrived. She was ready to destroy the factory. Hogarth stopped the Iron Woman. He said that the Iron Man had a plan. The Iron Man gave the Iron Woman special powers, so that she was able to turn the factory workers into fish. They all had to live in the river that they had poisoned. The workers felt the pain that the fish felt in the poisoned river, and suddenly understood the terrible damage that they had caused. The Iron Woman turned them back into people after they promised never to pollute the earth again. However, the men were so frightened by this experience that all of them now had white hair. The river became clean once again, but the men's hair didn't change and remain white forever. Mm -hmm.